Jammers, Snowy Claw here from the Animal Gem Spirit, and I'm here with my friend Artemis. Hello! And we're here today for a little tutorial video on the Animal Jam Art Studio. So this is a trial video. You guys should let us know if we should continue with these, but we've gotten so many questions on different styles in the studio, so we thought we might as well make a little tutorial series, and if you enjoy, we will continue making them. Uh, make sure you guys tell us, like, what specifically you want us to maybe help you with, like tips and tricks to help improve in the art studio. If you're having trouble with maybe shading or fur, let us know in the comment section so we can help that and make videos about that in the future. Yeah! So, for this video, um, because I recently made a red panda painting and you guys were wondering how I got the fur texture on that guy, I thought we would make a little focus on how to draw semi-realistic fur in Art Studio. So, let's get started! I use an uh, Intuos Pro Wacom tablet and Artemis. Same thing. There's actually some pretty inexpensive models out there if you guys ever want to try them. It's a lot easier than using a mouse pad. Mm -hmm. I agree. We're starting out. Well, you want to probably do your background first whenever you're doing an animal. For me, I like to start out with a rough outline of whatever animal I'm trying to create and then just going on from there. Yeah, whenever you draw something, um, I think it's a good idea to always like sketch out everything in the beginning, like do a rough sketch so you know where to place your items and if it's maybe not exactly where you want it, you can just change it really quickly. But yeah, it, it does help to look at um, reference photos of actual animals just so you can get like a basic idea of the body shape and the anatomy and the lighting. And as you go, you can always save a version of your art file to your desktop and use that as a way to make layers. So if you're upset with a mistake you made but there's only one back button on the Animal Gym Art Studio, you can load a previously saved copy of your art as if you were going back and deleting the layer that you just made. Okay, so for fur, you guys, I recommend using the airbrush, not the solid brush because it's rough and it's a little harder to use. To make it look realistic, I recommend the airbrush. Yeah, if you're going for a cartoonish look, pixelated will work fine, but if you're going for the semi-realistic, it's definitely a good tool to practice with is the airbrush and the smudge in a combination. Once you have the rough sketch of where all your basic colors are going to appear on your animal, you can work on collecting all the colors that you'll need for the painting on your little color palette. It's kind of limiting because there aren't a lot of spaces, but if you have just all the basics in one spot, then you'll be able to work on having a whole bunch of different colors layered together to create the semblance of fur. After completing your rough sketch of what you plan to make, you start by adding the next layer of colors. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Your edges don't even have to be perfect. You can even start with just what the skin color would be. So if you're drawing a polar bear, they have black skin, and sometimes you can see that between their white fur. So you want to put down a black base color and work up to the fur. Okay, so once you get all those base colors down, if you like, you can try using the smudge tool to get everything cohesive. A lot of times if the co a lot of times if the animal has a gradient to it, kind of like the red panda that I drew, how it had colors that would blend into each other, blend tool is really good for that. Uh, the next step is working into the finer details. To get that modeled fur appearance, it's really good to just spend a ton of time using the airbrush. <laughs> right? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it takes forever, but in the it end... It'll be worth it. Yeah, it really will, I promise. You just have to change your colors a lot, so after you have your palette of colors, just keep taking those colors and making small brush strokes as a fur, and the starting with a medium-sized airbrush, you can work down until the smallest airbrush, and you use that tiny, tiny airbrush to start adding in those details where you, the light hits your fur and that can help with making an outline on the edges of where the fur ripples along the coat of the animal. It's just getting that light and where it hits the fur and that can create your highlights. Do you have anything you want to add to it? Not really. You basically spoke my mind. <laughs> For when you want to shade something, make sure you know where your light source is so you know where to correctly put um, the darker shadows on your subject. Like for instance, if you had maybe like a sphere on the center of your screen and the light was on the top then you would shade the bottom of the sphere so same thing goes with when you shade animals 
So jammers, that concludes our art tutorial. Let us know if you enjoyed it and what you would like to see next, if anything. The most exciting part, however, is that you guys will now get your chance to try your paw at it. So you have a two week limit to submit your art to the contest. The prizes are an Animal Jam artist plaque and a long black spiked collar. You can either submit to my mailbox or to the Instagram tag, hashtag AJ Masterpiece Tutorials. And even if you don't win, your artwork will be put into a display in my art museum, which you can enter by going over here to this little, little uh, portal here. And you can go enter the art museum series. So yeah, guys. Um, Thank you for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. But don't forget to mention in the comment section if you want more videos like this and what kind of tips and tutorials you want to see in the future. And we will make sure to have that happen. Yeah, looking forward to see your artwork. And meanwhile, you should also stop by Artemis's channel. She does some really cool speed paints and all that. Um, but until then, hope to see you in Jamaica. And happy dinner!